hey, 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 welcome back to Ride It With Me Cray. Today, I am finally giving you my retirement update since a lot of you have been asking about it. But first, let's get the formalities out the way. If you are new to my channel, I am B Cray. I talk about any and everything on my ride to work in the morning. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like I said, if you keep coming to my videos, and you peep it in the window, that's what I call it, in the window, and you haven't subscribed, I have, I have issues, man, I have issues. So please come in, join the party, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment or two and share. That's what we do here. Uh, if you are my OG fan, thanks for coming back. Thanks for all you do for the channel. But let's go ahead and jump into what we're talking about today. So on Friday, I posted a video, and I'll throw it somewhere up here. I posted a video of me laying out in the water pool, talking about my Friday morning in the water pool. Something like that I posted, right? And then I got a lot, I got I got a couple of responses back from people like, you're not out of the military yet, or why are you in the military? So let me give you an update on what's been going on. And I think the last update I gave y'all was after my final physical. I think that's what it was. That was the last bit I gave you as my final physical. If you are new, I am a, I am a Sergeant First Class in the United States Army. I have 24 years and 11 months in so far. I am doing a medical retirement due to my knees being due to my knee being pretty you know being pretty bad. So I asked for a asked for a medical retirement. So. And if you want to know, just refer back to the video and I'll drop the video somewhere up in here all along the time. I refer back to the previous videos about me and my retirement. And this what got us to this uh to this because it's been a journey so far. But anyway, on last week I finally got a call from my Peblo. My Peblo is the medical profession that is in charge of my case. She the ones that make sure um, all my stuff get pushed to the right people accordingly and make sure that my my med board stays online that's all her job is she's like that in between person between me and the doctors all right so she called me last week i want to say she called me on monday and uh she informed me that my narsum came back my narsum is simply just a write-up on everything that i claim so if i claim that my ear hurts it's a write-up on what the doctors found when i went to the doctors right and then it also allows you, it also tells you what the military considers what is fit for duty and what is unfit for duty right so out of the 28 things that i claimed only two registered as unfit for duty and i already knew what they was that was that was uh my knees so i already knew that was coming so it was like okay cool the rest on um, by army by army, by army regulation i'm fit for duty all right so the lady went through all the paperwork. I had to sign a couple things here, just acknowledging that she, she went over this with me. And then she got to the point to be like, uh, on this form, you know that, you know, you are unfit for duty because of this, you're in the rest of this, rest of this stuff, you're fit for duty. So she was like, you can either uh, concur with it and we'll continue to push it up or you can not concur with it and then you can go back to a different set of doctors and they'll read make your stuff again but she said i encourage you to go see the attorney so in this whole med board i call it like a uh, med board unit or med board place they have everything you need like they have attorney they have the whole nine yards so she like i encourage you to go sit and talk to an attorney so to make sure you're good and that attorney can also give you a projected a projected ratings of what you can get for the military and what you get VA. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we did that appointment with my Peblo over the phone because if you live in Hawaii, you already know I didn't feel like driving all the way to Triple especially in the middle of the day. So I like I'm good to go. So I made an appointment with that with the uh, attorney and the attorney got me in on the next day like it was just that quick so you know i had to drive down to triple i thought but she went over she went over my ratings with me um it wasn't a hundred percent of what i want 
but it was enough to say I will be good if, if that makes any sense what I just said I, 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 I will be good whether I decide to work or not to work I will still be good um, so that's that when it comes to my rating um, she what what this attorney does she'll go through your stuff and then she will tell you like I feel that the doctor should have did this or the doctor should have did that or um, or you should go back to the doctor to discuss this to discuss this so you can get a better rating here or here or here so with me she like everything seems legit I don't see any issues with it um, there's not much you can you can fight with this um, but she did give me some other advice to do when I get out so I went on ahead and I concur with it and then boom it's gonna go up to the next to the next board right then the next board is strictly military board it was said well the, this will be the this will be the the nail in the coffin saying whether you're fit or unfit for duty right so that goes up in a few weeks and then if they say I am unfit for duty which uh, the turn already says it looks like it's gonna be anyway um, I would get orders and we're so long on the way. The goal was to come home in July for leave because I need some leave off this rock. I've been on this rock now for roughly two years without taking any leave whatsoever, and I need some leave. So, I'm coming home eventually. I'm coming home eventually. Now I gotta take my plane ticket, but I'm coming home eventually. All right. Just don't know when yet. I probably would, I probably would take leave once I start my um my terminal my terminal leave. Uh. Big up the um, body armor. I love injury. Um, so I'm coming home soon. A lot of people want to know what is what is Daryl gonna do after the military. So my first initial feeling of getting out the military was total scaredness, right? With total scaredness. Military is all I know for 24 years. This well, it's gonna hit 25 when the ball's in day. But for 24 years, this is this is all I've known was put this uniform on, go to work, be stressed out, come home, rinse and repeat over and over again. Go to work, be stressed out, come home, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. I was not sure what direction I wanted to take when I get out of the military, right? And for those who got in the military, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like it like I want to do something that I haven't done. As you notice, the hair is growing. I want my hair to grow out. I want comb rolls eventually or, or braids eventually. I want that in my head. And that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna aim for, that's what I'm gonna get. I get a chance to do what I want to do now that I don't have the military breathing down my throat and saying, hey, you got to have your hair this way. You got to have your beard this way. You got to have whatever, whatever, whatever. So I get a chance to be me. So that's first. I'm gonna be me. That is first and foremost. I'm gonna be me. Second, I'm gonna finish up my degree in criminal justice. I should graduate January or February with my bachelor's degree in criminal justice, which I am so excited about. That makes degree number two for me. That means I've already completed my associates, work on my bachelor's, and then I'm gonna start working on my master's. Eh, it depends. I'm gonna work on my master's in criminal justice, or I'm gonna do a paralegal degree, or I'm going to law school. One of those three options are open to me. And as time goes on, I will figure out what that is as I get closer to that to that time. All the reason I don't do law school right now because I feel like I'm 44 years old. So you're talking about all the years of law school, I feel like I'll be too old to be to get to enter anyone's courthouse court room. This one's a turn. Anyway, that's a hold on. That's hold on the topic back. So um uh, so the so the goal right now is for me to stay in Hawaii for one year. And approximately one year. I feel like it is easier for me to get a job working in the criminal justice field here in Hawaii and gain that experience and then transfer or move back to the United, move back to the states, right? Or the mainland as they call it. That is the goal so far. Now, a lot of you are like, where are you going back in the mainland? Most people, most of my family will be to come back to Virginia. Not gonna happen. I like Virginia, but I don't like Virginia. Virginia is is a place I grew up here. I don't want to don't want to retire there. So right now my goal is to probably retire somewhere in the area of Savannah, Georgia. Why Savannah? I'm not 100 sure, but I think Savannah is the place for me. It's not really country, and it's not really city. It is just that mixture of in between that I'm that I can think I can plop down in and be good. Plus. It's a quick plane ride or a drive back to Virginia. And that's that. I 
that is why I chose Savannah. Is the job market like when I get there? I have no idea. But I feel like it's gonna, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay, all right? So that that is mainly all of it. So people also asking like, hey, what about you know retirement party? Is that the third? I would do something Yo, bro, here. Your text. I would do something here in Hawaii. It'll, it'll probably be something very, very small with the one or two friends, one or two, three friends that I have here. And then, like I said, it would be a bigger event in Virginia. It would be with all my family and friends. It would be a big, dressy event somewhere in Virginia. That's how that's going to go, all right? But anyway, that is all. That is the update. That is all of the update that I have right now. So what is my date to get out the military? No idea. All I know when I get orders, I'll be out the military in 90 days. That's all I know. But that's all I know at this point. And I haven't got orders yet, but I keep you posted. I promise you I will. I'll keep my B-Cray family posted. You know I do. But anyway, that is it. I said I won't keep you long, but I thought I'll keep you long when I was supposed to. So I kind of ran on a little bit. But you get, you get the gist of it. You got the gist of it. But with that being said, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Share, share, share. If you have retired, if you have someone in the military who's about to retire, please they can always reach out to me. I can give them as much advice that I know from the people who gave me advice who got out before me. Mental health is a big thing too, so make sure you get mental health, a mental health help if you get it out too. Um, but anyway, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hey, I love and appreciate every single last one of you. And like again, those that's coming in, <clears throat> I keep looking at my videos but not subscribing. Hey, me and you have problems. All I need you to do is click the subscribe button and our problems go away. Stop peeping in my window and come on in the house. Join the BK family. We're a family of love. We're a family of support. We're a family of encouragement. We're a family that accepts anybody. Anybody, however you are. Lastly, happy, 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 happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. And I'm gonna say this, then I'm gonna end the video. And people gonna be mad, be mad at me. If you go to a church, Woo, Lord, yeah, you, I'm gonna hurt some souls. If you go to a church and they are downing <clears throat> LGBTQ or they're going hate towards LGBTQ, that's the wrong church for you. It flew over your head. It's the wrong church for you because church don't preach hate. Anyway, that is it. I love y'all all. I'll see you in the next one. Continue to encourage, continue to motivate. Continue to love one another. Remember, hugs and smiles take you a long way. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.